Okay, I've chosen a breezy June day. I am going to try and braid my one, two, three, four, five um, hibiscus trees into a tree kind of thing. I just bought them from Home Depot. And yeah, I'm just gonna try and braid them up. So I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so topsoil, sand, peat, rocks. Those are your four main ingredients. Okay, water, rainwater from the rain barrels. That is something called sphagnum moss, a failed orchid attempt. You can see the leaf over there, dead. This is going to be the host pot. Drilled some holes in the bottom. Step one, sphagnum moss needs to be wet. Rocks go above the holes. Ding. Now mix all this stuff together. The moss is gonna make it like all rich and organic. It should just kind of like fall apart like that. Once you have the water, it won't be so dusty. And then you put this in here. Once it's all packed in. That goes inside of here too. I'll even just put it on top of the sphagnum moss. And then just water that too. Like so. Give it a good soak. Still, no, yes. Now, while you're waiting for that to go soak through, you've got the two that are attached there. So one on either side of that fence. Right there. You've got two that are kind of attached already two that are kind of attached already, and one by its lonesome. Now, I've let one branch grow up while I've been cutting the other ones back, and today I'm gonna go kind of strip them all the way down. That'll be the first thing I do while they're still potted. So with the camera between my knees, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So you see how the branch is right there? I'm just gonna take my little X-Acto knife, of course kids call an adult. And what you can do is if you want, you can take it cut the little leaves off and if you plant it it'll actually grow all you gotta do is just cut all that stuff off and if you scrape kind of a little bit of the skin off so you get that kind of green layer if you pluck that in some water it'll totally grow yep you can't really see it but you know you get the idea you know just scrape it off and stick it in water anywho you can make more of those here's that same one i just skinned all the, the leaves off of it and do It to this one too. This is actually a second one attached, so I'm going to leave that little guy down there at the bottom, and then I'll clean these guys up too. You can see I plant. I tied these ones earlier together. They've already like merged, like they've already twisted them around. And I did this as well. I took all the branches off. You can see they they merged. Like to peel them apart, it's hard. So you see, they like each other. The friends. And there you go. I cleaned up those two. Not a lot for those, but there you go for this guy. So this was my first experiment in braiding. You can see how I've already kind of got this one together. I haven't really maintained it over the last little bit and kind of let it go because I want to now incorporate these branches with the branches that I've just trimmed up. So hopefully it'll kind of have its own braid pattern in the braid and uh, yeah those ones hopefully will work out too. So there you have it. The trimmed up trees so they kind of just pop out at the top. Thin down to the bottom. Thin, that's the sixth one that I have growing with that one. That's a single guy right there. And then this guy is the two bound together that I'll treat as one. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that other one. Anyways, okay, I'll figure it out. Okay, so you can see where I replanted it. There's like the peat moss, mix, peat moss mix in it again. It's a little dry, but it's still in pretty good condition. There's all the roots. So I'm just going to clean all that stuff off. I'm going to shake all the dirt off. I'm just going to leave it there in the water just to keep it nice and cool and moist. <laughs> uh, and you can see this is kind of dried up. It should be like, it's all spongy. It like, doesn't even really stick to you, so it's good. And uh, I'm going to do that with the other ones now. So that's three of them. Get a little bit of water. It's nice and windy. You don't want to do this in the sun. It'll kill them. 
can oh the health and benefits of the fish pool water. So all I'm doing is just kind of attacking it with the shovel. You just gotta be patient with it. You just gotta roll it around. You should hold the trunk instead of a camera, obviously, but you know, you just kinda keep going at it, you work it, and then it just kinda gets in the uh, in the garden. Ah. You gotta be careful, you don't wanna go to town on it. Just loosen it all up. Last those the last ones. These ones are a little bit more of a pain in the butt. Make sure you incorporate it back into the soil and it'll just be eaten up by the other plants, no problem. There's a ton of good stuff in there still. Another key point is make sure that you fill the right one. I filled the small one, so now I gotta go do it again. So I'm gonna take that and put it in that. And uh, this is uh, how big the root ball should be by the end, you know. Like still decent size, so they'll fit like one, two, three, four, five, you know, like that. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm tying the two together that were originally a little bit farther apart. I'm just going to tie them so that the uh, the trunks start off right there. They need that tightness. Toit. This is a really nice one. It has nice big yellow highlighter, yellow colors. And this one is um, a littler one that I got for Tina for her um, uh, engagement party. And I managed to save one. The rest of it basically rotted away. So only one survived and he's there. And they're like best buddies. So the thing is, is that, see that nice big root right there? I want it to sit like that outside of the ground so it kind of like has like a, it's like escaping. But the problem is, is that it comes up and around here. So what I have to do is, is I'm gonna have to go chop that long one off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, all the way back to where that kind of like a little elbow is right there. Okay. And there you go, you can see the beginning of the braid. Just put one over the other into the middle. It's a little bit tough at the bottom, but it's getting a little easier now. But I kind of lost the pattern, so we'll see how it looks. So I wrapped them all the way up. There's the braid. And I've undone the bottom here. I'm just going to tighten up the bottom part here. And there you go. That's the basic braid of it. And it comes all the way up to the top. Well. Yeah, I was going to try and film it, but I can't do two things at once. So... I just wrapped up the bottom part and made it look a little bit neater. I gotta tie it all up. There you go. You see that one with the loops where I made sure it was on the outside? I'll clean that up once I plant it though. And there you go. That's the whole thing. Because it's so big, what I'm doing is uh, using my feet as a vise basically to hold this down so I'm free to go tie this up. I know it looks a little bit gross, but in all honesty, it works really good. It's good having a second set of hands at the bottom of your body. So yeah. <laughs> So there that is, there that is, that's how it's going to go in. A little extra trimming and da 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 da, that's long and short of it. There's your hibiscus tree. So the sphagnum moss has kind of just been soaking. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack that around the, uh, the roots here. So that when I go to put it in, they're going to be like well insulated and we'll have uh, they won't lose too much moisture once they're planted and then they'll grow out of the sphagnum moss into the rest of the pot um there's a guy on youtube that is like all about the sphagnum moss so i figure you know what he must be onto something so i'm just gonna pack that around and, and close this so i can go do it right okay there we go so there it all is dumped in all the trunks are braided we've got like two little legs coming out and they're all braided all the way up. I put a little stake in there to kind of keep it steady. There you go. I'm gonna put it right here against the house so it doesn't get too much wind. And yeah, there you go.